Hi, I'm Luke Shen. I'm here with my teammate, Tyler Myers. We're going on a little drive here for another episode of Canucks and Cars. We're gonna go out there, Shenner, okay. and then go up a bit and take a left. I'll, I'll let you know. We're live. You got the uh, nav on so we don't yep. get lost in this city? I'll direct you in the wrong direction for sure. Good brakes. Wow, great brakes in this car. <laughs> Where are we headed? We're leaving uh, Trout Lake here. Beautiful Trout Lake. Trout Lake. Great area. Great area. Didn't see any trout. No, they didn't give us time to fish. <laughs> no fishing on this excursion. Strictly driving. <laughs> Put your helmet on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jenner. Give me a little, give me a little rundown of what it was like growing up in Saskatoon. Any memories that pop, pop into mind? Just a little rundown? Yeah. Um, you know what? I think it was a great place what, to grow one up. One brother, one sister. No, two sisters. Two sisters. Yeah, two I younger actually didn't sisters. know that about you. <laughs> yeah, two younger sisters. You know what the funny thing is, like growing up there, you don't even really realize that it's cold because you just don't know any different. Like it's just kind of normal to, for it to be snowing in April or in, you know, trick-or-treating in October, like with snow up to your knees sort of thing. But uh, as far as growing up and playing hockey, you can't really think of a better, better place to grow up just based on the fact of you have an outdoor rink, you know, for like seven months of the That's year. That's pretty, pretty cool. cool. So my dad always had one uh, growing up from our brother in our backyard, but- He would make one? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, he always come out there with us, you know, flood the flood the backyard. Growing up in Saskatoon, so on our one street alone, like just typical city block, there was uh, there's about seven kids within, I would say, three or four years of each other that all played in the WHL, and that's strictly based on the fact I would say that we all grew up playing on the backyard rink together, like every day. That's pretty cool. Yeah, like so on one street, like you know, guys playing, you know, and. and Playing CIS after. Guy just uh, flipped me off there. <laughs> Growing up in Sask, so we'd it'd be so cold. I remember like you, our our feet would be so frozen after skating on the outdoor rink that we'd have to walk home on our heels because our toes were so frozen. <laughs> and then then my mom we'd always come home. And my mom would kind of you know heat up like a like a bath and just to put your your feet in the bath and just then to start throbbing yeah in the just, hot water, just yeah. Unth and throb your feet yeah but honestly, you wouldn't trade it for the world no, i wouldn't trade it for the world but if, yeah. if i were to go back and do it now i don't think i would do it i think i've become way too soft in all honesty with, with <laughs> we're, we're getting softer in our older age eh? way too soft and like you know before vancouver i played in you know i went from la to arizona to anaheim to tampa and i'm just I'm a warm climate guy now. <laughs> so it's, I'm You're a long way from to a different climate. <laughs> yeah. Being drafted fifth overall to Toronto, Toronto known as a tough market. Right. What what was that like going into your first year? What what was the pressure like? What was the media like? How did how did you handle it? I remember getting drafted. The draft is in Ottawa. Yeah. And um, I remember my name being called, going up on the stage, doing the quick interview. And there's a bunch of media, and I really had no idea what I was stepping into. It. I had the the Leafs jersey on for I'm pretty sure like not even five minutes, and the, and the media started asking me, so, you know, you're just drafted here, welcome to Toronto, um, but the Leafs haven't won the cup since 1967. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> and I'm like, wow, geez, like let's put the pressure on right away. So yeah, I was like right away, I was like, hey, well, this is going to be interesting. But at the same time, I didn't really like. I didn't really know what to expect. Like I knew, like growing up, I always paid attention, trying to like watching Hockey Night in Canada and doing that. But like I wasn't in the market as far as like reading the papers and the radio and all that sort of stuff. And that's one thing I had to figure out quickly is like when you're playing there, it's best to just shut that off and not really pay attention because there's so many different opinions and it's tough to do as a young kid too. Yeah, and so coming in at 18, like you know, you pick up the paper one day and people are calling you out for mistakes or if you're ready or you're not ready or carving, you know, whether it's your skating or you're not doing this right or whatever, it's just like not really worth reading. So I actually think I did a decent job staying away from Turning it. things out. And that's actually right when I first came in the league, I think in the first couple of years, that's kind of when social media was starting to become a thing and 
Twitter was first starting. That's kind of dating ourselves here. And I was like, there's no way that I'm getting Twitter right now because I do not need to be reading anything what people are saying. You know, it was kind of cool because uh, we got to, uh, we were drafted in the same draft, yeah. same draft year. And we got to do all that pre, pre-draft pre stuff together. Yeah, it was unreal. We, yeah, we, we what, got... Uh, what year, when we went to the cup final, What? who won that year? Because they flip-flopped, right? Yeah, Detroit so... Detroit and Pitt. We went to game two, right? We went to game in two Detroit. in Detroit. That's when Don Cherry and like Hockey Night Canada brought like all the top, whatever, five or six prospects and their dads down to whatever game it was in the finals and kind of got showed around by the NHL. Dave Keon, remember Dave Keon? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He used to show us around in, uh, in the NHL, which was um, treated all the prospects so good. He do a little interview in Hockey Night in Canada and Coach's Corner or whatever. Um, but we went to game two in Detroit and Detroit ended up winning that. And the reason I remember that is because I was like blown away. First of all, like we were at the Stanley Cup Finals game in Detroit, met all the players, Nick Lidstrom, Datsuk, Zetterberg, like Holmstrom, Rafalski. I think Oscar. that was my first real starstruck moment. Yeah, but so, yeah. so I was starstruck too. And I'm like, wow, like the NHL seems so far away. And that would have been in- You were there a few months in later. In June, that would have been in June, the Cup <laughs> Finals. And then in uh, October, I actually ended up making the, the Leafs at a training camp. My first ever NHL game was in Detroit and they, the game they raised the Stanley Cup banner. So I looked across and there was like, like a, the guys- oh, I didn't like, know that, that's yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, my first, I, I, could, I was like, I think I was like starting line for my first shift. I literally saw I was out there against like Lidstrom or Falski, like there's oh, Chelios, um, Osgood Draper, Malpe, Datsuk, all those guys and I was like, what am I doing out here? I need to literally, I'm sprinting to the bench after my first shift. Like, get me off this ice. Like, how? But then, right then and there, you're kind of like, wow. You blast an outside that game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you know what? We were like, I mean, they just raised the cup banner, and I remember we won that game. Like, that was a massive. They had a little cup hangover. Yeah. Well, yeah, they, they took the Leafs lightly, I think. They took us a little too lightly. I remember that was a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed the pre draft stuff. Yeah. Um, combine all that sort of stuff together yeah maybe maybe not the bike test but did we fly to columbus together yeah yeah we, we did in columbus too i remember that yep. you and i flew uh this is this is pretty cool um this story how uh your brother Braden wins the cup in boston yeah and uh the next two years you get back-to-back -back cups with tampa it's pretty cool for the shen family what uh What'd you guys do for your cup parties? Um, was was your whole family at all three cups? What was going on? Well, I went to Braden's cup party. So, or so his Stanley Cup finals were in. I went to Game Five, Six, Seven. Five was in Boston. Six in St. Louis. They lost and had to go back to Boston for Game Seven. And I. And so you flew back and forth. I flew back and forth That's for cool. a few. Yeah, and I was thinking like, everyone was thinking, there's no way that Game Seven in Boston, like that's a tough environment to play in. After they just kind of blew game six in St. Louis to win it. So I ended up pulling it off game seven. I was on the ice with all the families after, hugging everyone. It was kind of like I was part of the Blues family for that night. And I knew some of the players, like just playing against them and played with them. So it was just kind of a surreal moment. And I was like the proudest older brother in the world. And um, yeah, all that happened, Brain had a great cup party. He brought it back to Saskatoon. And I never did touch the cup, actually. I know it's like an old sort of superstitious thing, but I didn't touch. I drank out of it. I drank champagne out of it with a straw, but nice. I didn't even touch it. <laughs> it saved you. <laughs> it saved it, saved it. it was everything. At the end of the day, it was everything. No. And uh, I get the chance to go sign with Tampa and play there. We had no family there, obviously, because of COVID. So that was kind of like unique experience. You're in the bubble for 90 days or whatever it was, and it was kind of cool in a way where I guess you just got to experience it with like the organization and the players and everyone who's there. But then the next year we got to do it all over um, in Tampa with family and friends. So you got a bit more of the normal. I got the best of both worlds where you got to experience everything. And it was obviously way better with, with friends and family there, uh, getting to experience that and, and all the fans. But um, yeah, pretty lucky. Kept it in the house for, uh, for three years straight and cup party and yeah, me and my brother both got our name on it. Anyways, uh, great driving with you here. Appreciate That's it. That's our trip. All right. Thanks, Shutter.